Good. And last controller, <coughs> sorry for distracting you earlier, um, I was just inquiring as to times. Um, the Criminal Justice Incitement to Violence uh, or ha Hatred and Hate Crime Bill 2022 proposes to legislate for hate crimes uh, by creating uh, a new aggravated forms of certain existing criminal offences, where such offences are motivated by prejudice against uh, protected uh, characteristic. The bill also proposes to amend the provision of incitement to a hatred act 1989 including by making provision for online and hateful content while i, I appreciate we must deal with issues of online content i don't know is this the right way about it the bill also ex ex the bill also expected uh, includes uh, as expected includes provision on the burden of proof by adding a demonstration uh, test in addition to the motivation test as set out in the general scheme of the bill. The demonstration test uh, would only require that the person committing the offence uh, demonstrates hatred at the time of the offence, the time the offence was committed, while the motivation test requires proof of a person's subjective motivation for committing uh, a hate crime. <clears throat> Uh, the bill also seeks to uh, create clearer and similar offences, uh, this is in the, in the department's words, of incitement to hatred than those contained in the existing legislation, uh, setting uh, the threshold for criminal incitement to hatred as intent or recklessness, uh, while also providing for safeguards for freedom of expression. And that's where I'm concerned. And the 10 protected characteristics contained in the bill are, as we know, uh, race, uh, colour, nationality, religion, ethnic and national or, or origins, uh, sexual characteristics, sexual orientation, gender including gender expression and identity, uh, and, or dis and disability. For instance, section 3.2d of the bill reads, <coughs> excuse me, gender means uh, the gender of a person, of a person, or the gender which a person expresses as the person's uh, preferred gender, or with which the person identifies and includes transgender and, ge age and a gender other than those of male or female. Confusing, I think so. A clear, certainly not clear, Minister. If this section of the bill is meant to give uh, a definition of gender, it completely uh, falls um, f far short and, the, uh, and there's no coherent attempt to define a term X can indicate X and a proposed definition. But if it's uh, not meant to de define gender, that leaves us obviously with other, another problem since gender appears to be defined nowhere else in the bill. And Tara. Worrying and unclear sections in the bill, from my point of view, for example, section 3, 2, uh, D appears to pick out three items to give a determination to gender, and they include if a hen, a person's gender, if a doe, a person's expressed preferred gender, and if a tree, a person's identified gender. However, in the case of all three, we appear to uh, be, be, uh, we appear to be told that gender can include a transgender or a gender other than a male or female. Nonetheless, the bill does not provide a defi um, definitive explanation for what gender is, what transgender is, and what a, a gender, what a gender other than a male or female might be, or how many of them there might be. I've heard the colleague of yours some days recently express that they might be up to nine, uh, um, from your own constituency actually, or used to be, and, ha and how many of the, uh, the three listed gender terms differ from or relate to one another. For example, could a person have uh, three gender types simultaneously? This is a legitimate question, and Minister should uh, provide clarity before this bill proceeds. Uh, and clarity is needed in many aspects, but it's definitely needed here, Minister, because, you know, it's not clear. Any shape, make or form. And also, it be prepares or possesses to such a person with intent to include violence or hatred against such a person or group of persons on account of these characteristics or any of those characteristics are being reckless 
all, as to whether such violence is hatred is thereby incited. Then section, subsection 10.4 goes on to state that a person guilty of an offence under this section shall be liable, A, on summary conviction to a class C fine or imprisonment for a term of not exceeding uh, six months or both, or B, on conviction, on conviction on indictment to a class A fine or imprisonment for a term not exceeding two years or both. Minister, I'm very concerned about this because there's so many areas in your department, and I raised one of you yesterday about uh, a lot of uh, pressure that we had for years uh, with the lack of Gardaí and everything else that we brought in an electronic tagging system for prisoners on release. And you, in reply to your uh, question from your good self, a parliamentary question, you told me the practice had been discontinued due to the high cost associated with it. And it further revealed that only 161, 151, sorry, uh, persons, persons had been had been electronically tagged during the period from uh, 07 or something to, 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 to 20 to date, or to maybe 17 or 18 when it stopped. And you've been the Minister for Justice, and I wish you well. Uh, but this, and that's only one area. And you went on to talk about the get the budget. You didn't answer the question at all, at all yesterday. So I mean, we've, I'm just making my illustration last time, corner, in case you think I'm straying. I'm not. I'm just making the point that there's so many pieces of legislation like that piece that's not been enacted. And yes, yeah, but I'm just saying that it was quietly parked up and not a word about it. And we had huge public consultation and huge effort, but it's, that's only one area of this Oroctus to try and get that done. And we're all happy when it's done and dusted. And maybe that's why we should have a, a review of all legislation, because it's literally not, 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 not working, because of the expense. What are we doing here making these laws? And then we don't. Um, do we have any idea in this piece of legislation, uh, Minister, as to the, the, the cost benefit analysis, the cost to the state? And above all, <clears throat> who's going to um, police it? I mean, you, you have Deputy Hobbin telling you that in so many areas in your constituency this, this year there's no detection of crime at all. It's either a very safe place, or else you have no guarantee to do the job. And the latter, I would presume, is, is the case. And we are in a bad situation for guarantee, and it's awfully worrying to see only Fihe uh, Tini in, in Templemore in, in the college. And applications, not we had promises, and 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 this is very relevant to the bill about enforcement. Uh, last mm -hmm. corner, I mean, it's very boring. We're not getting people to, like we used to have thousands. A taxi man picked me up here um, one night last week, week before last, and he tried six times in the northeast to get into the Gallery corner, and now we can't uh, fill the places. Something radically wrong, and we're not supporting our galleries the way we should. We're not supporting the numbers are in. Um, and remuneration, and it's not been attractive a job anymore. And we know it's gone horrible and dangerous and nasty and pernicious in many ways. And I support the Gardaí 100% always and have. But um, we keep piling on this leg legislation and no one, nobody has implemented it. Looks good, it's great. I think it's a, it's a total distraction from reality. Total. And I have huge concern about the bill, and I won't be supporting the bill. And some of my group won't either. I haven't, we haven't made a group decision on it. We're independents, as you know, but I certainly won't be. And I've concerns about it because, as I said, you know, there, there are many areas that's unclear, and it's not, it's not, um, it's not. Uh, and I listened intently to and talked to O'Callaghan because he is a legal brain and legal. Um, a man of the law, and like he, he understands legal legalities and technicalities a lot better than I do, or, as far as I'm concerned, anyway. So, therefore, as I said, um, after the fine or the imprisonment or term not exceeding two years, or both, so the days are full. Yeah, they tell me they bring prisoners to, to, to the different prisons from Clonmel Court and Tipperary, and they are sent home again that evening. So, what are we doing? Like, are we. We need huge reforms in the justice system. Huge reforms. So first, waiting for Gaddafi to get convictions and go to, go to uh, get um, charges and convictions and, and then get convictions and uh, escort them to prison and they're home before them. That is a farce. 
and that's going on under your watch. And then um, you've legislation like this coming in here, which is half baked and half cooked, and not, and not, uh, it's not the clar lack, total lack of clarity. Lovely out there, pandas to a certain part of society. But I think a lot of society have grown tired of all this legislation now, because it doesn't put bread and butter on the table, number one. And it doesn't um, uh, help anyone to get jobs or pay their ESP bills. So therefore, the intention is, this is going back to the sentences, um, here could potentially lead to someone facing a jail sentence <clears throat> of up to two years for having in their possession material, a book or a magazine that, that contains material which is subjectively, subjectively by the state, uh, intended to incite uh, hate against another person. And that's very, very, very loose, very broad, and it's subjective, as we said, to the, any member of Ngarji Khan or any member of the public to, to make a complaint or, or whatever. So that's, that's, that's a dangerous place to go, very dangerous place to go. And I don't think the people want that. I certainly don't think the people want that. I don't want it, and I think many of the people I represent don't want it. I mean, we had recently a Ferrari over a sermon given by a priest in Kerry, uh, quoting scripture. So would he, would he fall into this? Would he be held off for the course and faced up? This is a, legit, a legitimate question. I'm not saying anything but the rights and wrongs he was quoting from scripture, which is around that longer than any of us. Do members of Dolly and want to give their support to such a far-reaching provision, which is, uh, uh, which is uh, anything but clear? For example, will this lead to someone who is carrying a book, as I said, uh, uh, by leading academics such as Jordan uh, Peterson to facing a, a period in prison. Could it? I think it could. Uh, w w um, will they face, uh, simply because of the book uh, and, and, and the contents of the book, uh, they might be, as I said, in somebody's mind, uh, subjective provisions of uh, this legislation. Might be, uh, they might come out, fall under this remit of this uh, legislation that you're uh, pushing to is today. Quite legitimately, it could. It could, or any other material. And I have made no apology ever for campaigning on pro-life issues, and a campaign to keep, to, to keep the, the Eighth Amendment. So, I mean, we, we're all in danger, and we see the Ferrari and the, and the hassle about people protesting. People protest in good faith, and we must have the right to protest, uh, obviously within, within, with respect for everybody. But we can never take that away from the people. So, I think you're... Advice, my advice to you would be make haste slowly. Make haste slowly here, uh, on Tara. Uh, would it lead to someone, as I said, uh, carrying the book? Uh, so what publications and material would be on the ban list? And who's going to uh, decide? And, you know, will we back to Salman Rushdie and places like that? And will we be the, the valley of the squinting windows? And will we, will we be driving underground? People that rightly have, have opinions and have, and have um, um, values that they want to espouse and they want to bring up their family in. Are they going to be? We already have overreach in the Department of Education, total overreach into the education system uh, with the resistance to homeschooling, with the tutors involvement there, bringing parents before, and guardians before the courts. Total overreach. People want to do the right for their children, and we all do, but I mean, we can't, you can't police families and families in, in their home. And this is what, I see this is happening. I mean, the, 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 um, we heard from Deputy uh, in particular about, and uh, I've heard it from, from teachers, one to her school, uh, Anna, and they've said the same thing to me. They're, 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 they're shocked with the contents. And you open a mass book, page 11 and a mass book, and you have it's, it's, it's sexual uh, material in there uh, about, uh, sexuality in a maths program for 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 uh, for, a liberal, for uh, national school children. Something gone really wrong, and this push, 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 push is just um, gone way too far. As I said already, there, there's ten years of legislation I could bring to you that are needed uh, in, in in your department to be dealt with and to be and to be and have manpower to follow it up and have reviewed as to their impact analysis, but. This one is, seems to be the preferred option to get it through. As I said, that, uh, a similar condition will apply. Uh, a similar consideration will apply to, to the bill under the terms of hatred. The bill before um, states that 
Hatred means hatred against a person or group or persons uh, in the state of in the state or elsewhere on account of their protected uh, characteristics or any one of those characteristics. Again, it, is this meant as a definition? It fails miserably, if, if it is, it fails miserably, it doesn't meet any, any bear. But if this is not the only def if this, if this is the only de not the only definition of hatred, uh, didn't tell you, Minister, please inform the doll you know, here as to where um, is clear the definition of the hatred is to be found in on Billy Shaw. I can't find it. We can't find it. My researcher can't find it. And it's not clear. So the bill, there's large areas of the bill that's not clear. And words are put in there and intentions, but just kind of just left in and wished to walk away and give carte blanche to certain people to decide certain things. Se um, section 10 of the bill deals with the area of creating new offences for preparing or, or processing a material likely to incite violence or hatred against persons. What, what, I mean, what, what kind of... What, what, who, who's thinking is this? It's totally subjective again as to what the people think. I'll read it again. As I said, it is with the area of creating the new offences for preparing or, or processing material likely to incite violence or hatred to, against persons. I mean, where is this going to stop? It's subjective and, and no clear definitions. An offence under Section 10 shall be uh, committed where uh, A, a person prepares or possesses material that is likely to incite violence or hatred against a person or a group of persons on account of their protected characteristics or any of the three or any of those characteristics with a view to material being communicated to the public or a section of the public, um, whether by himself or herself or another person. So, Minister, it's um, a lot of issues with this bill that are totally unclear, totally unclear, and a lot of, lot of issues. And meanwhile, and I, every person in this state deserves the protection of the law, and all our newcomers and all our, um, our new guests that come here and we try and do the best for them we can should be protected. The ones that come legally, not the, not the numbers I got from a PQ to yourself as well recently of the people who come in with no paperwork from many countries. We have to have a different way of dealing with, it, with that situation. The paperwork and the point of, of uh, getting on planes and no paperwork, when they, no paperwork when they arrived in Dublin. So our people, above all, then, deserve protection in their homes and in the streets and in their businesses. And you and your government are failing miserably to provide that. Failing miserably. And quoting numbers to me, and you met the deputation from Clarmel, and they laid a bill if you, out there for you. And they also, I think, told you, of their fears that someone will be seriously harmed or worse. And that is, a, that is a desperate situation in 2022. And you've been in government for so long, and you're meant to protect the people, but you're not protecting the people. Not prote and neither is the Commissioner from Gary Shikana, because I've had this issue with him. But here is, so, and I don't want to, um, I salute the members of the gallery, but I don't want to explicitly state how, how scarce and how perilous the situation is because I don't want to be given information to people that want, might use it for something else. You know how bad it is, and you're camouflaging it. And this is a total camouflage and just a total diversion. Instead of doing the duties that you, you as a public representative for your constituency and a more important, a minister appointed by this house and by the, sorry, by the teacher and claimed by this house, to do to protect the people in, in a very important department, instead of churning out legislation like this. And I'm opposed to it, and I will be voting on a vote against it as well, and go back and uh, deal with legislation to look after our people that served us well and serve us well, and not have them frightened and cowering and frightened in their home. My colleague, Deputy Cahill Eddy, told us of a woman in our house in, 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 in Torles, sleeping in the van because she'd been so violently assaulted and robbed and afraid to come back again. I mean, do we want that in a modern society? I mean, why we turn out all this legislation here that looks good and sounds good, it's not even properly uh, framed or, pro or proper definition uh, uh, put to it, so I'm fundamentally opposed to it. Good remark, Let's go on.